In the third section of our lecture, now we will talk about the rhesus disease. In this, we will talk about what's the etiology or causes of rhesus disease, what's rhesus isoimmunization, and hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn. Rhesus isoimmunization. The rhesus blood grouping system is um, when we say we have blood group A, B, A, B, and O. Then other two are the, the grouping is O like A positive, A negative. O positive, O negative, AB positive, AB negative. This positive and negative is by the RH factor present on the wall of the red blood cells and that's, that gives the uh, positivity and negativity to the blood groups. Blood group A positive has RH factor present on the red blood cell, on the wall of the red blood cells of the person who has blood group A. A negative are the individuals who have no RH factor on the wall of the red blood cells with blood group A. So this RH factor gives the positivity and negativity to the blood groups. This is O negative blood, no RH factors present. This is O positive with RH factor present on the red blood cell. Then we have A negative, no RH factor present, only A antigens are present because blood group A has A antigen on the wall of the red blood cell. Only A antigens are present, it's A negative. Then we have A positive blood group, which has A antigens present on the wall, along with A antigens, it has Rh factor present on the wall, uh, surface of the red blood cell. Similarly, B negative means no Rh factor. It has only B antigens present on the blood surface. But B positive has Rh factors with the, along with the B antigens. Now, AB negative. Negative means no Rh factors. It has both A and B antigens on the surface. And AB positive, it has Rh factors along with A, uh, a and B antigens. This is the uh, rhesus blood grouping system. Rhesus blood grouping system gives, uh, tells the per patient person whether they have blood group A positive, B positive, AB positive, and O positive because they have RH factor present on the surface of the red blood cells. Next, what are the causes of uh, RH or rhesus disease? The causes are usually the presence of D gene uh, that gives the uh, uh, rhesus causes rhesus disease. So D gene is presence. We have we uh, in this case we divided the rhesus disease into three scenarios. In the first, mother is usually Rh negative when the rhesus disease is present. So mother is always Rh negative. They don't have Rh factor on the blood they have. It may be A negative, may be a B negative, may be AB negative or O negative. So um, mothers are RH negative. So RH, in this case, RH negative mother, uh, RH negative father. So they have DD, DD. The positivity, Rh positive, is represented by 
capital D, big D. So in this case, Rh negative mother, mother is Rh negative, father is Rh negative. Usually all the offsprings will be Rh negative. They won't develop recess disease because all the offsprings are Rh negative. No recess disease, no complications can occur. In another case, if mother is always Rh negative, Rh negative to develop the recess disease. We are talking about the recess disease. So Rh negative mother, DD, Rh positive father, but the father is heterozygote, means one uh, recess gene, D gene is present, one is no recess disease, D gene is small d. So mother is DT. Father is D, capital D, and small d. Now, father can give one big D or one recess gene to half of the offsprings. So in this case, half of the offsprings will be Rh positive. So Rh negative mother with Rh positive fetus usually give rise to Rh incompatibility or rhesus disease. In the third scenario, there is Rh negative mother, DD, and Rh positive father, which is homozygote. Both are DD or rhesus genes. Now the father can give rhesus gene to all of the offsprings and all offsprings will be uh, Rh positive. So that's how the rhesus disease develop. If depending on the blood group of the father, whether they are homozygote or heterozygote for the rhesus gene. Now what happens with the rhesus disease etiology? What causes rhesus disease now? We mentioned that the mother is Rh negative and the father is Rh positive. If the fetus is Rh positive, in the first pregnancy, the blood is transferred from the fetus to the mother and then the mother form antibodies against the blood. Now nothing happens, no complications occur in the this pregnancy or in the first pregnancy but in the consecutive pregnancy if the same situation occur mother is Rh negative and the baby is Rh positive now the antibodies that are produced in the mother in the first pregnancy transferred to the fetus through the placenta and they destroy the blood of the fetus and this can cause hemolysis or destruction of the red blood cells leads to all the different complications of uh, hem hemolysis. So that's how this rhesus disease cause all the complications and problems. So first pregnancy is usually safe, nothing happens, but consecutive pregnancies with the same scenario, with the same uh, uh, positive baby, blood uh, uh, Rh positive or blood group uh, uh, positive uh, Rh factor usually cause complications. So if you see in this diagram, this is the fetal placental circulation. The fetal red cells with D antigen, now Rh positive baby has D antigens present. If they cross next pregnancy, what happens? These fetal placental circulation, the antigens, uh, uh, D cells antigens cross and maternal red cells without D antigen, Rh negative, they have the D antigens now. Uh, maternal antibodies produced against fetal red cells. 
So uh, mother produce antibodies against fetal red blood cells. Now what happens? Maternal anti-D antibodies produce pass across placenta causing fetal red blood cell lysis. So the same thing I mentioned in the first pregnancy, nothing happens. But in consecutive pregnancies, those antibodies that are produced, they cross the placenta and causes lysis of the fetal red blood cells. This again, RH negative women and RH positive men conceive a child. RH negative women with RH positive fetus, this negative mother, positive fetus. Cells from RH positive fetus enter women's bloodstream. Now they enter both, now mother has both negative and positive. Women become sensitized, antibodies form to fight RH positive blood cells. Next, in the next pregnancy, now maternal antibodies attack fetal red blood cells and cause destruction of the fetal red blood cell. Very clear, very good demonstration of how this occurs. First, fetal red blood cells enter into the mother, initiate the production of antibodies that in the next pregnancy enters the fetus, destroy the fetal red blood cell. So hopefully this is very clear explanation of rhesus disease and how it can occur and cause uh, complications in the uh, fetus. Again, first pregnancy, Red blood cells are going into the maternal circulation, initiate the production of antibodies, and in the next pregnancy, cause destruction of the fetal red blood cells and destroy the fetal red blood cells. So that was in detail about rhesus disease and uh, how it can occur and what how it can affect the baby thank you for watching scardia.com